Hi, Dr. Bennett. How are you doing today? Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were expecting me. I'm James. I'm one of the orderlies from the institution. Uh, I'm supervising Mr. Roberson. Before I bring him in, uh, I, I just wanted to let you know that he has a history of violence. So if anything got out of hand... What do you mean, gets out of hand? It's just a precaution. Uh, I'll be right outside in case you need anything. Well, I'm sure we get along just fine. Uh, you can send him in now. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Rose. How nice to meet you. Please, have a seat. So, how about we start with you telling me a little about yourself? Look, Doc, no disrespect or anything, but I really don't feel that's necessary. I don't need therapy. I see. I'm curious as to why you might feel that way. Because I didn't do anything wrong. The judge wants me to see a counselor. He also thinks that I'm mentally unstable, which honestly is a little ridiculous. Now, Ben, I understand why you might feel that way. But according to your file, you tried to kill a man. Don't you think that's cause for alarm? I wasn't trying to kill anyone. Well, now, I never said you were. I don't know what happened, Ben. That's why we're here. This is supposed to be a safe place so you can talk about what's on your mind. Well, it's not exactly something I enjoy talking about. Let's talk about your love life. Why the fuck would I talk about that? We have to start somewhere. I just told you I didn't want to talk about it. Ben, whether you like it or not, you're stuck with me. We can work together, put it all on the table, or I can tell the judge you're not cooperating. Your choice. Fine. Where do I start? Well, how about the altercation with your wife? My wife was having sex with our maintenance man. So you walked in on them? Yes. That's when you assaulted her lover? Yeah. I did what any man would have done. I'm not sure that's a accurate assumption. Well, what would you have done? 
What do you mean? Well, I see you have a ring on your finger, so I assume you're married. What would you have done if you'd walked in on your wife having sex with someone else? I'm not the one being evaluated here. But it's a fair question. If it makes things easier, I'll paint you a picture. You've been working a lot of hours lately. So you come home early to surprise your wife. You stroll in hoping to relax, but instead, she's in bed with some fuck she picked up off the street. Tell me how you don't lose control in that situation. Ben, what you did, it's rare. It has to come from something more. I know it's frustrating, but we're making strides here. Make, making strides? From where I'm sitting, we haven't really accomplished anything. Look, it's obvious you've been storing a lot of anger. We have to pinpoint the source of that. Then not only can you forgive your wife, but you can forgive yourself. The key is to get you moving forward. I thought maybe a professional would help. But honestly, you're worse than everyone else. Come on, can't you see I'm trying to help no, you? Hey, no, hey, I don't need you to help me. And I certainly don't need you to explain shit. I know what happened. I was there. I relive it every single day. When I close my eyes, I see her. Staring back at me with that look of pity. She's the reason I snapped. The reason I can't just make the anger go away. I hate her so much for what she made me do. But if so many people believe that defending my marriage somehow makes me a psychopath, well, I guess I'm right where I belong. Well, the, the psychologist is going to be down in a few minutes. Uh, I just want to stop by and make sure that you're ready for it. Try to remember that the doctor is here to help. And so if you have things on your mind that you want to talk about, he's there for you. For 27 years, I was the one helping people. I just never thought I'd end up on the side of the room. You, you can throw it out. I really don't need it anymore.
Thank you.